All of these changes came from users. The users requested them. We know that they're important. We know that they'll help people remember things and be more on top of the things that they're trying to remember. Hi, my name's Parker, the developer of Twos, the best place to write things down. A lot of the things that you write down are things that you wanna remember, and sometimes they're things that you wanna be reminded of. We recently improved our alerts for our reminders so you can prepare for it or do something ahead of time. In this video, I'll be covering the new features that we added, which are default alerts, second alerts, custom alerts, all day reminder notifications, and turning on the time until setting for reminders by default. So let's cover this. So for example, Mother's Day is coming up on the 12th. So you could just type in Mother's Day, May 12th, Twos has an auto detect reminder feature. So if you type in something that you wanna be reminded of, it will notice this and ask you if you'd like to set a reminder. And we'll see now that I have a reminder set for Mother's Day on May 12th. And we can also see that it's in 11 days, which is a new setting that we just added, which I'll cover later in this video. But the idea behind alerts is that if you click into this reminder, one of the options is alert which will set to none by default, but now you can edit this to add an alert by default. And let's say I wanted a week heads up for Mother's Day, just in case I wanted to get a card and send it in the mail, or I wanted to order my mom some flowers. We can specify an alert before this reminder, let's say one week ahead of time, and Twos will now send me a notification on my phone one week ahead of Mother's Day saying, Mother's Day is in one week. We previously had alerts, but one thing that we recently added was custom alerts and second alerts. So here's a second alert. Maybe I wanted three days ahead of time, and we can see that we have 10 minutes, 30 minutes. We don't have a three day, so we can use the new custom alerts setting, and then it will say, specify the amount of minutes ahead of time <laughs> that you would like to set this reminder. So this will take a bit of math. So there are 60 minutes in an hour, 24 hours in a day, and I want three days. Now I'm seeing that we probably need to make this easier on people, but I can enter in those minutes and now I'll receive a second alert that comes three days before the alert. Maybe that's the one that I'll, that I'll schedule the flowers on. And if we save this, it'll look the same. I'll just receive those notifications ahead of the reminder to alert me that I have that coming up. You could do this for a meeting. Maybe you want 10 minutes ahead of time. You could do this for you know, somebody's birthday, maybe, maybe a month ahead of time or a week ahead of time, whatever it may be. But another cool feature that we added was the ability to set a default alert so that you don't need to set it manually for each reminder. And in order to do that, you just go to the side menu, go into settings, go into preferences, go into events and reminders, and then you'll see a default alert time, which is currently set to none. Maybe I want it to be a day ahead of time. So all of my alerts now I'll receive a notification one day ahead of time, just so that I know that it's coming up. Another one of the settings is all day reminder notifications. So we used to not send any notifications for all day reminders, like a birthday or Mother's Day or anything like that but people requested the ability to basically have a default set and then be able to change it per each user or per each notification. So you'll see now that it, set, it defaults to 9 a.m. So any major event or all day reminder, you'll receive a notification at 9 a.m., which you can edit. Maybe you wanted it to be at 10 a.m. or you can turn it off and you won't receive any all day reminder notifications. I like it currently at nine. And then if I go to today, I'll see, I do have some daily reminders. So these are things that I normally do in the evening time. And what I may want to do is change it to about 7 p.m. So I can just click into the reminder and I'll see down here the all day reminder notification is currently set to nine. I would want it at seven, which is 19 o'clock. And I can save that and I can do this to any and all of the all day reminders that I have. So that covers the default alerts 
which now if I created another reminder, let's say dinner with Joe on Saturday at 6 p.m. We'll have this reminder set. And if I click into it, I'll see that it has an alert already set for it one day ahead of time. So then on Friday, I'll see, oh yeah, I have dinner with Joe tomorrow. <laughs> that covers alerts, second alerts, custom alerts, all day reminder notification time, editing the all day reminder notification time. The last thing is this how many days until. This is a setting in the reminder, show time until. And if you turn it on, then you'll see the in four days underneath the reminder. But you can also turn this off and if I were to save it, then I would not I would no longer see that time until the notification or until the reminder comes up. But this is something that you can actually turn on now by default. You just go into the side menu, settings, preferences, events and reminders, and then time until on by default. Maybe I'll change up some of these names. But you can see I have it turned on, which is why we were seeing that when I would create those reminders. If you were to turn this off, you would just not have that setting turned on for each reminder. That's all for the alert improvements. We might do something about the custom so that you don't need to do so much math. All of these changes came from users. The users requested them. We know that they're important. We know that they'll help people remember things and be more on top of the things that they're trying to remember. So we really appreciate your input. If you have any other requests, please let me know. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and have a happy Tuesday.